Welcome back to the channel everyone. Welcome to Dawn's Life. Today we're going to install the summer ceramic coated wheels onto the M4 with some spacers from Burger Motorsports. I'd like to give a shout out to a good buddy of mine, uh, Fancy Cheetah. You can follow him on Instagram right here. Uh, he picked these up for me in Ontario and, and sent them out to where I live. So thanks for that. Um, so let's get started and install these and I'll walk you through it. A couple things to note, these are hub centric, meaning that they're gonna hold the wheel on the center of the hub perfectly. So if you're gonna look at spacers, get something with the hub centric ring. Um, without that, you'll probably experience vibration. We're going to take some anti-seize compound and we're going to apply it to the part that mates with the uh, original hub. So I'm just gonna put that on now. So we got the rings ready. They're prepped with the anti-seize compound. I got a scotch Bright pad here just to make sure that the hub surface is clean. There's no grit uh, in there when we sandwich these spacers with the hub and then the wheel. I've got some uh, microfiber towels to lay over the carbon ceramic brake. I've got my longer lug nuts here um, just because we need them to be longer to make up for the spacer. We've got our guide pin here so we can hang the wheel off of it and slide the rim on and off if we decide. Got our torque wrench ready to go at 105 foot pounds of torque. But what's it gonna look like with these spacers? Well, I know these are different wheels, but they're the same rim size. And if you see here, as I come in closer to the car, the wheel completely disappears and I can't see it until I'm outside of the car. There's a bit of an indication for you. Then if we go to the front. Same thing. You can see the wheels inset. So we're going to make this look a lot better. One other thing too is I wasn't anticipating when you jack a BMW up, at least this one, there are special jacking points. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a rectangular receptacle. I do not have, I do not have the adapter, um, but I have a socket that I've made that won't slide off of the jack here that fits right in there. And I've already tested it, it works fine. Um, but I'll probably pick up some adapters so I have the right ones for the next time I have to take the wheels off. So let's get started. Just do a visual inspection of the brake pads while we're here. Got lots of brake pad left. 
tons. And they look to be in really good shape, no nicks on them. Hopefully they last uh, as long as I have the car. We want to make sure when we put these rags on too that we're also covering the caliper. So when we take the wheel on and off, we don't scratch it. And look at that, no brake dust. So that's how it stayed so clean all these years. Cool. All right, cold start, BMW M4, but it's room temperature, so room temperature start, BMW M4. The gold carbon ceramic brakes, they really pop. Those calipers look awesome with those wheels. Guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the new stance. I think it looks much more aggressive. Looks great, still got lots of plans for the car. Wanna put some side skirts on, probably a front lip. We'll see what else. Anyway, uh, that's today's video. So if you like it, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing, that way you can keep up to date with all the projects like the Cameo, the Escalade out back there, the M4 obviously, maybe my pickup, got the boat out back as well. I hope you enjoyed today's video, but it's pretty much over. I gotta go for a test drive, that's the most important part, so stick around for another 30 seconds for some of that footage. Otherwise, this video is over, we'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm.